up everybody welcome to woodness goodness and welcome to the newest project of woodness goodness we are going to build ourselves a mobile bar because well i don't know about you but we're running out of places to enjoy ourselves so i'm going to make one that i can take with me let's go baby Yes, 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 yes. We are starting the next project on this incredible YouTube channel. I hope you guys liked the cabin build. The cabin build is not completely done. We need a deck. In fact, we need stairs. Uh, I am going to build an outhouse type building with uh, you know, a composting toilet and a shower. That is for the future though, because I have to plan these things out However, I cannot stop and won't stop creating content for you guys, and I want to stay busy. So, got myself a bumper pull trailer, a horse trailer. We're going to turn it out, or turn it into a mobile bar, because I want to make sure that everyone experiences the good times that Woodness Goodness has to provide. So we're gonna just make this thing into an epic bar on wheels. Never done this before. We're gonna do some metal work. I did a little bit of metal work in high school. I've owned a welder for quite some time, but I really never use it. So this is gonna be fun. Witness goodness is going metal. We're going real steel on this ish, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. So first things first, we have to clean this puppy up, you know, uh, remove the stuff that needs to be removed, and prep it for some new metal work and I mean prep it for everything so uh, let's get after it shall we These screws are kind of stripped and rusty, so we're just gonna cut them out. One thing about this project that I'm gonna try and do the entire time is get my power off grid. I have a Blue Eddy that they gave me to use on this project, and I'm gonna just be charging it with the sun, with a solar panel or two, and just charging all my batteries with the Blue Eddy. Because we're gonna try and build this bad boy using the sun. Now, the only thing we cannot use the Blue Eddy for, because I will probably blow it up, is the welder. Let's get after it, baby. Ugh. 
I'm strong, I'm bold, I'm beautiful. I'm strong, I'm bold, I'm beautiful. I'm strong, I'm bold, I'm beautiful. Ah! <laughs> yes! Yes! All right, guys, this is gonna take a little bit. I need you guys at the edge of your seat enjoying this content, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get into what I like to call a banger. Sweet music, sweet shots, sweet guy, sweet trailer, let's go. This is the side portion, the little storage facility at the front of the trailer. I found some goodies. We have leave-in, oh no, it's called Love That Tail Leave-In Conditioner. We'll save that for uh, my wife. Peppermint Horse Snacks. We have Satin Shine. Every horse deserves the feelings touch. What? Produces a healthy show sheen and very soft coat. Perfect. Oh, can't forget this. Zoink it for horse and dogs insect control spray. So basically this part I'm going to keep as a storage section for the mobile bar. Um, I'm planning on setting it up in here so this will hold and house the electronics of the whole thing, which will be my Blue Eddy solar generator and that will be kind of the heart and soul of this whole trailer and it will give obviously the power to do anything this needs to do, right? Let's clean it out.
Here we go. It's nice to see though that whoever did this put two lights, you know, just in case one goes bad, you have that second one that's just waiting. You know, that's really smart, honestly. reason the semi-professional before me put fiberglass around just this side I have no idea why so we're gonna have to cut that out plus I guess this was a mini pony trailer maybe I've said it before but the whole thing was elevated about 12 inches by the looks of it so you can see here it was cut off and then re-welded with some tube steel in there and the same around the whole outside and basically it was all just tacked in place. Uh, I, I don't know if I can do a better job, but I'm certainly gonna try. Uh, so I have steel to, to replace all the stuff that has been, you know, kind of deteriorating over time. I'm, only, I'm gonna only keep one of these sides open. I don't know which one yet. And then I'm gonna weld up steel on the one side that I don't use. There's still some wood in the doors. I gotta take that out. But all in all, it's coming together. We're moving, we're going. We're grooving. The more we take off and the more we take down, the more work I'm starting to see that this is gonna be. But all in all, I think we're okay. A lot of this is surface rust. There is some parts around the wheel wells where the rust is kind of broken through. But I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay because we're optimistic. We're optimistic because we look forward. Now, I'm not a professional surfer, but I know some of you guys probably are. And the way I look at it, especially when it comes to motivation and being motivated to take on a project like this, well, you gotta go out into the water with your surfboard if you're ever gonna catch a wave, i.e. motivation. Motivation comes and goes, people, even for me. Obviously, you're just watching me do the best that Graham can do on YouTube right now on this beautiful channel, Woodness Goodness, be sure to like and subscribe. But motivation comes and goes for me too. And I know it's definitely coming for you and going for you. It's Motivation is hard to see a lot of the time, especially right now with these times. But like I said, be a surfer, okay? Get in the water, get your surfboard, put your, put your wetsuit on if you think you need it, tie yourself to the board so you don't lose it, and wait. Wait for that perfect wave. Waves is just like motivation, baby. Sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're smaller, sometimes you're just waiting out there. Possibly get attacked by a shark, but either way, you gotta be in the water if you wanna wait for the motivation wave. You hear me? Mark my words, motivation will come. You just gotta be available for it. So get out there, make yourself available, and trust me, a wave of motivation will come as long as you're waiting for it. That was good, that was a good one. I know you guys have been wanting one of those. They just come to me. You know, they just come to me. I was actually watching uh, the World Surf Tour the other day on YouTube. Amazing, Jamie O'Brien, another YouTuber. Don't know him, but he seems like a cool dude. Maybe one day he'll teach me how to surf. Anyhow, he was competing, so I had to watch. Anyhow, we're gonna keep moving here. We're gonna start prepping any other steel that's kind of gone bad or just kind of a crappy job in the first place we're going to try and get really nice straight cuts so when we put our new steel in it looks good and it looks as close to factory as possible <laughs> 